Meh. So I just wanted to real quick make another video and kind of just explain a little bit of what we kind of have planned this year. Well, first things first, I want to make sure that I get this car mechanically sound before I start doing any crazy mods or anything, which I, I may or may not have already told you guys. Uh, on Friday, we're going to actually go head over to Planet Subaru, and I'm just going to have them take a look at the car and just diagnose like a couple things. I've been hearing like some weird noises and like I haven't had the time to go ahead and figure it out myself. So I called them up and I said, maybe you guys can take a look at it for me. It's an old Subaru, you know, maybe there's some things that got to get changed out. Possibly a wheel bearing, maybe slave cylinder, uh, and just a couple other miscellaneous things that I want to have them look at. You know what I mean? Hey, BRZ. You guys probably couldn't even see that, but it was a BRZ. It was low and everything. Friday, we're going to take it over to Subaru. We're going to have them look at it. And then once we do that, the next step is I definitely want to go ahead and get a six-speed swap going on this. And I think that that's definitely manageable and obtainable this year. I also definitely want to get a JDM EJ257. I feel like that'd be really, really cool to start building. And plus, I mean, if we have the six speed, might as well start pushing more power with it, right? Lastly, I definitely also do want to get another car. And this time it's going to be rear wheel drive. Most likely, definitely going to be a 350Z. That's really what I'm kind of going for. I think that'd be a really cool build. And I want to start getting into the drifting scene. I, uh, I remember the first... I don't know if I don't know if you guys remember, but the, one of the first couple videos I made was a, uh, a meet that I was at, and they had a, a little drift sequence, and I thought it was the coolest thing. So, with that being said, I'm gonna cop a 350Z at some point this year, or at least I'm gonna try to, and we're gonna start building that as well. So, hope you guys enjoy that. But yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a rundown of what the game plan is for this year. But hopefully, we can do everything this year that I want to do on that list that I just told you guys. So, fingers crossed. Four to six more days later. Now, do I be lazy and put in two quarts, or do I want to spend the 40 bucks and just put in five? I think we'll just grab two. Uh, can I get a medium and then also can I have a lemonade please? The fresh lemonade? Yeah. Anything else for them? Um, can I just have extra ketchup on the burger? <sighs> See, those are the taillights that I needed. Those are not the ones that I grabbed. Alright, so we're here now. Just give me two seconds and we'll go inside. We'll talk to them, see what's up, and we'll be back. Oh, bullshit, they took like 0.5 seconds to look at that. I was expecting to be here for quite some time, but guess not. So, this is what they basically said. So I definitely need a new clutch. Uh, it's not terrible, terrible, it's not slipping or anything, but I definitely need one. And that humming noise that I was hearing in the back, it was literally just the backing plate, I guess. It was too rusty, so it was just coming off on the rotor and just making a weird whining, scraping noise. And then also for my steering, I told them that it felt a little bit heavy, it felt weird, it felt kind of like there was a lot of play. I just need a steering shaft knuckle, which is something that I kind of figured out yesterday, which is good to know that I was actually right about that, so look at me go. <laughs> I feel like this year is going to be a year full of just like maintenance stuff, and oh, pull, pull, pull time. Ah, no room. But yeah, I feel like this year is going to be the year that we're just, we're just going to, that we're just going to do a ton of maintenance stuff before we get into anything crazy. So I really apologize if the videos are really lackluster or there's not a video every single week or every day or if there is a video it might not be the most uh, entertaining thing but the guy told me something about I think it was my cam seals that were leaking maybe I, I don't remember exactly what it was that he said 
I can uh, double check real quick, but yeah, I've got a, I got, I've got another small leak, and also one right where my uh, transmission drain bolt is. So fun times. But that one I kind of already knew about. Oh, I forgot to mention that also, when I put those new arms and everything in, uh, I put everything in pretty much nice and tight, and I thought I had everything snug down, but apparently there was one bolt that was backing out. It didn't have a locking nut on it, and it was starting to just completely come out of the... Uh, uh, it was starting to completely just come out of the hole. So I'm glad I got that looked at today, because like I, I wouldn't have had time to even notice that. I'm probably going to end the video soon, but I wanted to get down here and kind of just look at everything, double check, make sure all was... Uh, all was well um, when I came down here uh, oops so if you look I have these trailing and lateral arms and everything in um, one of these bolts actually fell out if you look it was this one this is the new bolt that I had just put on um, but yeah the bolt itself was actually like basically almost out of the hole because the locking nut fell off and that would not have been very pleasant I was like steering and it would, it would feel very wavy I thought it was in the front but I guess it was may maybe possibly from this but I do also need to replace those front sway bar bushings up ahead, so I'm going to uh, do that down the line as well. Yeah, I'm going to get back to checking everything, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. I apologize for it being short, but peace out, and I'll see you on the next one. Yeah.